I started writing Discovering My Scars in 2006 while I was in a mental hospital. A friend brought me some warm clothes and this notebook. I had to write with a dull golf pencil because they didn't let us have pens. I guess they thought we could hurt ourselves with a pen. You did this to yourself. You don't get to cry over this. I don't know why I kept them all these years. They've been packed away. I never use them again. These are the scissors that landed me in the mental hospital. This created a scar that is still visible today. But that's only where the story begins. Why are you crying? Calm down. Get control of yourself. Then it was over. You have to take the drugs if you want to be released. I didn't recognize this girl with deep black bags under her puffy eyes, almost hiding the dark brown eyes within. Her lips were drained of any color, and her skin was a pale shade of gray. Discovering My Scars has been a 14-year journey. I started writing it three times during those years, and for the last three years, I made it into what it is today. It tells the story of my first 32 years of life, what was done to me, what I went through, and what I've learned. Scars are not only skin deep. The scars in my heart were for no one else to see. Until now.